Away from the spotlight of the big stage, sounds of Madalam and Mridangam emanate from the small houses of Peruvemba, an obscure little village in the Palakkar district of Kerala. The village's only claim to fame are the hands that make the skin sing. This tiny village, located 15 kilometers away from the town of Palakkar in central Kerala, is the only place in the world where these traditional percussion instruments are made. Curious, we went looking for the masters and came back reverberating with a blend of awe and sorrow. Awe for the skill of the hands that make dead objects sing and sorrow for the hands that are losing their rhythm. Like all traditional craft in India, the art of making mridangam and madalam is losing its appeal. While the last remaining masters continue to toil away, the younger generation of the artisan community is looking elsewhere for the future, as survival through this craft is becoming difficult. The once strong Kollan community now has only 26 families practicing the tradition and Prashant Babu is among a handful of the masters. Making and tuning these instruments is a back-breaking exercise and at 55, Prashant is not a young man anymore. Almost five decades of pulling and tugging has wreaked his back, but he has no choice other than going on. His only son, Binu, despite knowing the craft intimately, has decided to break away from the tradition. But here, he decides to take us through the making of a madalam, which is quite similar to mridangam. Okay. And we made this seven layers. Okay. Last layer with cow skin and another with buffalo. Only we make this sound only with this cow skin. Both Madalam and Mridangam are made of a hollowed jackwood trunk and cattle hide. Depending on the size and weather, it takes around three weeks to make an instrument, each weighing around 35 kgs. As much as the material, the weather also plays a crucial role in this craft. Tanning and drying of the skin and wood requires warm and dry weather. Hence, the almost four-month period of monsoon in Kerala is a non-season for the Peruvemba artisans. This is called Adandana. It's fully made up with buffaloes. Both the Madalam and the Mridangam have two playheads, each producing different sounds. The sound produced by the left side is thinner in tonal variety than the right side. Walandala with left hand and Adandala with right hand. 
Interestingly, these percussion instruments can only be custom made, each differing according to the gender of the performer and made precisely to the measurement of the performer's hands, palms and fingers. Each side of the instrument is covered by five to seven layers of buffalo hide, while the central portion of one side has a single layer of cow hide. The round black halo at the center comes from a paste made with a mixture of arecanate powder and boiled rice. The straps used to fasten and tune the playheads are also made of buffalo hide. Some of the smaller instruments like edeka and jenda are made using goat skin. A unit of madalam a labor of hands and heart is sold for around 25,000 rupees. But these days, the craftsmen here get very few orders for new instruments. They are mostly busy in repairing and servicing the instruments, which fetches them even less. The situation is so grim for these craftsmen that eking out a living through their ancestral craft now seems like a fading proposition. Does their plight bother the custodians of India's cultural heritage? Will their labor of melody lose its resonance forever? These are the questions that seek some urgent answers. <laughs> 